And just like that, Super Bowl 2021 is upon us. What are you going to be serving for your party, guys? I hope that your party is going to be virtual unless you're partying with the people that's already in your bubble. I have a good one for you guys today. We're going to be doing a chili dip with homemade baguettes. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant-style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. All right, guys, so usually when I make chili, I make it a little bit different because I put cilantro. You guys know I love cilantro in everything, but this time I'm not going to do that. So take a look at what I have here, some ground beef. And this is not really the, the lean, lean one either. This is like the 27, 70 something. And then three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of brown sugar. I didn't want Joe to see this, but he's running camera because he's going to say sugar in the meat. Girl, what's wrong with you? Then this is supposed to be minced garlic, but I didn't have any, so I'm using garlic powder. And then I have, you can use just the green bell peppers, but I don't like that. So I'm going to use a you know, bunch of colors here and the onion. And this over here is for later in the thing. You know, this is how we're going to start. This is some ketchup. This is half a cup of ketchup. And then I'm going to use half a tin of this hot pepper, this hot tomato sauce to make up. Or you can use a whole cup of ketchup and then use some cayenne. But I don't want to do the cayenne today. I want this flavor in it. And then some Dijon mustard. You can use the yellow mustard. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm mixing things up, guys, because guess what? I'm also going to be making baguettes. So put that over there. That's the yeast for the baguettes. So let's get started. We're going to go over to the stove. So what I'm going to do, I have a spatula here. I'm just going to go ahead and dump the meat in. Well, normally, I break up the meat and start cooking it, right? Not going to do that today. We're going to be real special today. Dump the meat in. We're going to dump the onion in. That's what Jamaican people say, onion. The onion. I don't know. What, does, what do Belizean people say for onion, Joe? We live here so long, sometimes I kind of forget the Creole, you know. Onion. We don't say onion, right? Onion. We don't express the O. Mm -hmm. We say onion. Onion. Put all the peppers and the onion in. And then we're going to put these three things. The flour, the sugar, and the garlic. Which again should have been minced garlic. Uh, shout out to Joy for giving me these things right here for my show. All right. So now that that's all in there, we're going to light the fire. Grab the spatula and let's start mixing. Have you guys picked up my books yet? You guys, don't forget that I have two books. Show it, Joe. Two books for sale. See, I have them right here on the stand. You can check below in the description to see how to buy them. And a great big thank you to everybody who has already purchased and keep rebuying and rebuying. I have repeat customers, you know. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the show because that's how I'm going to come up in your feed. Hit that notification bell and hit all so you can get all the, um, the alerts. So all I'm doing is just breaking up the meat over here, okay? And once I get this meat going to where it's cooking, I'm going to switch to making the baguette. So stick with me. You're going to want to see this whole show to the end. Breaking up the meat. So let me go ahead and open my tomato sauce. Mommy was the one that turned me on to this tomato sauce. You know, she used to love to put it in her tamales because it's hot and spicy. So let me go ahead and put the ketchup in first. And then I'm going to do half a tin of the sauce. The sauce is an 8 ounce tin, okay? You see this refried beans next to me on the counter? That's my tripod, you know, for the camera. <laughs> so I put the mustard in. And I'm just going to go ahead and start working this through. Alright, I think I'm going to like everything in this except for the brown sugar. But I wanted to try the recipe because that's how we learn if we like new things, right? So now I'm going to put two cups of water. And I'm going to set the timer 
for 45 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on it though because I don't want the water to cook out of the meat, you know, for it to reduce and then I'm not paying attention and then it burns. But I think we should be okay because this is a four quart pot. So let me go ahead and put my salt and pepper now too. One teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper and we're going to taste later on to see if it's enough or not, okay? Let me give it a stir again to work the spices through. All right, so the first thing that I have to do is clean up all this mess and then we're gonna work on the bread. So let me put some sugar to my all-purpose flour and some salt and some active dry yeast. And we're not even gonna proof the yeast, okay? We're not gonna activate it, just toss it in. Let me work this through and then we're gonna add warm water. This is warm water from the faucet. Take a look right here, guys. This is in my book, The Pantry Laid Bare. I'm doing half the recipe that's in the book, all right? We're still gonna get two loaves, but they're gonna be skinny loaves. They're not gonna be fat. So all we have to do is add the wet into the dry and just stir it with the spatula until a dough starts to form. But I wanna be very careful as to not get it too wet. So sometimes if you're new to making bread, you might not wanna deal with the spatula right away. You might wanna have your hand in it so you can feel the dough and see how sticky it's becoming. So this is what I'm going to do. And yeah, it's already feeling sticky, guys. So let me put this water away and then just start to hit it with some flour and just work it around in a bowl to get all the stuff off of the edge before I dump it out to the countertop. Now, you've already seen that I showed you the page uh, where you can find this recipe in my book, The Pantry Laid Bare. But I want to remind you guys that I do have another book that I'm selling, and it's my Belize in Cookbook. It's called Beans and Rice, Volume 2. And you can only buy these books from me, okay? You can't buy them anyplace else because a lot of you know the story that when I gave um, permission for this one guy to print and distribute my books, he just started to sell books to Amazon and didn't give me none of the money. So that's why I redid my book, Beans and Rice, and um, I'm the only one that distributes it now. Okay? Check below in the description to see how to buy. So now I've put the dough back into the bowl. I'm gonna go grab a towel. I never wash the bowl because that's double work. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but I don't like to do double cleanup when I'm cooking, all right? So I'm stirring the meat because it feels like it wants to stick. So let me go ahead and turn the temperature down and then stir it some more to make sure that there's not any of the meat left on the bottom of the pot. Okay, that feels good. So let me go ahead and put a lid. The lid doesn't have the little hole to vent it, so I'm going to leave it cracked open because I don't want it to boil over. And here I am again about 20 minutes later checking on it again because I don't want this to burn. It's smelling pretty good, guys. Oh, look at the small minces, and it's thick. Put the lid back on again. We have about eight minutes left on the 45 minutes, so let me go ahead and check for cheese. No, I don't even know what these kids have in here by way of cheese, because I don't buy cheese anymore. <laughs> Who would have thought I could have given up on cheese, guys? But once you double over one time too many from eating cheese, you learn to give it up. I'm making a salad because I'm still on my eating plan and no matter what I eat I have to have a big salad or, or a lot of vegetables with it because that's how the plan works you know that stuff will fill you up it's healthy for you and then you can still eat a little bit of something something on the side so so far I've been losing about 1.2 pounds a week so if I continue at this rate and don't hit too many plateaus I should be at my goal around my birthday August 14th all right, so I'm cutting it in two because we're gonna make two baguettes. And I just wanna go ahead and knead it so that all the air can come out of it. And then I'm gonna use the rolling pin to roll it into a rectangle. I'm still just trying to form it into a ball, guys. Let me press it down and then start rolling. And it's kind of difficult when you first start rolling. It kind of wants to fold in on itself, but just give it a moment for the dough to relax. It just takes a little bit of patience, all right? So now, how big is this rectangle gonna be? 
Well, it can't be bigger than the tray that we're going to bake it on, all right? Because remember that we don't have industrial ranges in our kitchens. So just measure it against the tray that you have. So you can roll it like this, or you can tuck and roll like this. Whichever method feels comfortable for you. Now I'm sewing the bottom shut, not with a needle and thread, of course, but just by pinching it shut with my fingers and then turn it down on the seam and bend the ends under and then I'm gonna put this on a greased baking sheet and I put it diagonally because I can fit a longer piece that way and then I just have to work on the second one and this one I'm tucking pinching and rolling at the same time and I've sewn the bottom shut and now I'm cutting now a lot of people when they make bread they do the slicing on the top of the bread after the bread has risen yet again I've never been able to do that guys I think I'm heavy handed with the knife and every time I do that I pop the dough and my bread is ruined so this is the way I do it I cut it way before it rises and who's gonna stop me right so 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes 40 minutes later let's take a look Yes, this one's done. We're going to switch the other one to the top shelf because it's not quite as brown as I'd like it to be. See our little slits on the top? They still came out nice, right? Let me put it here to cool. Listen, 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 guys. And then, of course, cut it after it's cooled down. Alright, guys, that's 45 minutes. And I didn't I did not need to add any more liquid. Let me have Jaya come around and show you what it looks like. So this is done. I'm gonna shut off the stove. Don't get too close, Jane. That's my good camera. I'm gonna shut off the stove and let it sit here. They booked it. <laughs> you can show. You guys. So Joe's nephew came up, right? Well he came from Belize. You can show me. And um he bought a truck and um they're gonna take some of this junk out of the backyard, the Sanford and Sun stuff. And I let Cora in and they booked it. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny though. Cause I'm warning it that I don't trust Cora. Okay guys, all I'm doing right here is heating up the, um, the dip because I have to add the cheese and I want the cheese to be able to melt. So just give me like a minute or two to heat this up and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the cheese. Yes, Cora, baby. Yes, you tell him. You say, this is my house. I'm going to protect my house. Mm -hmm. Look, she's going to try to open the door, Jada. Look. She's trying to open the door. Did you hear Wednesday barking her big voice, too? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You tell me these dogs are not going to protect us? <laughs> Patrick said, that's a big dog, Uncle. <laughs> then Daddy said, let, let her in. And then Daddy came back in. <laughs> They did what they needed to do. Run! <laughs> oh my god. That's how you know. That's how you know the difference of like when you're born in America and born in Belize because my butt is like, oh, a dog! <laughs> <laughs> Only American people ain't afraid of dogs. Or British. Of dogs. I think the British love dogs too. Mm -hmm. so. oh. Now, I tasted it just now and I put my finger in it. It's sweet. I've never had sugar in my ground beef before, but I wanted to try a different recipe. So, note to self, this is the first time. Oh, it's hot enough. That I'm trying this. Oh, you know what? Let me wait and try it with the bread. I was going to try it just off the spoon. Well, that's the time you want to try and add more salt, more pepper, stuff like that. The kids say that it needed more spice. Cora, what's up, darling? Cora, <laughs> darling. She, she popping off. Mm -hmm. She popping off. Yeah. I need to put it in something to put it in. Can you get out of this kitchen? Well, I was like, mm -mm. oh, she wanna die. She do not like these. Too much activity for the chorus today. You seen this baby? Oh, sorry, I was looking at one side. <laughs> her beauty. It's not your booty, it's your beauty. Yep. 
Okay, put some of the cheese in the thingamajig. And then get a fork and kind of work the cheese in to the dip. Now, the reason that I separated some guys is not just for presentation. It's because you know your girl can't do the cheese. So that's in the dip. And then put some on top. Okay? And that will melt on top. And look at my thumbnail. Gorgeous. You guys like my mask? Yeah. I don't care who comes here. I'm wearing my mask. All the time. Yeah, Joe's nephew doesn't have the virus because he had to get tested coming to the country last night. Right. But you can never tell if he picked it up somewhere mm -hmm. in LA. So anyways, he's the one that was really, really desperately ill. And a bunch of you helped me pray for him and he recovered. Thank you, God. So he, he had the virus. Yeah. All right. Josh was going to taste this one. You could dip it, babe. You don't have to use fork. All right. And I'm going to taste this one while I can not have cheese. I don't know what her beef is with cheese, but I like cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the sweet? I like the sweet, but I want more spice. But that's just because- Get a hold on it, Joe, take the camera. Daddy, can you take this camera? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go wipe this hand. But I like, uh, I think I'd like some more spice. Oh, you but, want it to be hotter? Mm-hmm. But it's good though. Well, you can put more stuff in it now, Josh, that I'm done. Yeah. I didn't want to put the cayenne. Mm -hmm. Because I opened half a can of that hot tomato sauce that I like. Would you like this for a Super Bowl dip? Even though we know what Super Bowl? I don't want Super Bowl, but I, I like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, the sweet kind of takes a little bit of getting used to for me. Yeah, it's good work. Hmm? But, but I, I tried it. I know, but I wanted you because you look so pretty today. Oh, thank you. Am I dying? Not you? that you don't look pretty <laughs> today, but I'm just saying. No, no. Where's your outfit from? Sheen. I wish they would become a sponsor. I know. Would you guys like it with a pita chip or something better than the bread? No, I like the bread more. The bread? I like the bread, the bread better. I shouldn't have eaten all this bread. Winnie, your turn to try. We shouldn't tell you, but we snuck in the kitchen and we're eating with the pita chips and it didn't work out. But the bread works. Well, the pita chips work too. Winnie tries to eat with the chips? Yeah. Winnie likes it, Mom. <laughs> Why did it? I wish I had recorded how Joe's nephew and his was ran from the Quran. <laughs> did they run? Bumped it. They booked it. <laughs> you guys don't forget to subscribe, like, share all of this stuff. Let me change the camera so Joe could come on. And then what they say, ring the bell. They know. What do you think about the sweet taste of it? Well, no it too much sugar. Too, it's too sweet. You want more spice? Yeah. Okay. Right. So you guys balance it out with more spice, okay? Well, if it works for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I just so happily eat it like this. Move, move. It's Wednesday's time to shine. Oh <laughs> Look at her tongue. Look at her tongue. She's like, look at her. <laughs> Leave some for the owner, Joshi. Oh, have you not? We don't put more spice in it. Do you want to put some cayenne? Yes, put a little bump of cayenne in there. Okay, let's get a bump of cayenne, guys. Where's the cayenne? Right here. Here, you jazz it up. <laughs> Put some in there too. I just have it separated because of the cheese, but you guys probably eat all of this. Cheese. All right, all right. I like how it looks like this, Josh. Like, yeah. like meat pie filling. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Put it in meat pie. Yeah. Put it in meat pies. Meat pie? Look you what just you opened did. your mouth. Look meat what pie? you did. Nice. Yeah, in a good way. Try some meat pie with it. Do what you did, Mom. You did this. You, you got this on yourself. Well, look upon this, then Dratted Picnic make a meat pie after all. Remember, guys, we are not buying this book. 
because if you do the only people that are making money from that book are my ex distributor and Amazon pick up this book instead this is my Belizean cookbook it has a hundred and twenty authentic Belizean dishes that I've done on the show already but now you can have it in print so you can follow along and your dishes will come out perfect each time hot off the presses this is my second cookbook guys it's called the pantry laid bare and I named it that because I laid everything on the line when I picked the recipes for this book all right a hundred and eleven delicious dishes from basic ingredients to purchase just check below on any of my videos and you'll see the different methods of payment and also the shipping thanks guys come on baby it don't eat it don't eat push the door push the door push the door Joe grab the phone the dog. <laughs> guys say hi to my nephew Patrick this is the one we prayed for this is the Beth Andrew Show.